Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller and in this video we're going to talk about WordPress functions and specifically the functions.php file. Now in previous videos we've covered things like uh, the loop and uh, in registering a theme within WordPress and kind of peeling apart the layers of, of a WordPress theme and just kind of getting to the basic anatomy. Part of um, its basic anatomy though is functions.php, which is where you can write out all the logic for your theme and where you're going to use things like hooks to register or append or change functionality. Uh, and you can even change core WordPress functionality uh, using those hooks. Now you don't wanna do that by editing WordPress core files. That's why the hook system is in place. And hooks are going to be uh, a video that we're going to cover later on that gets into uh, way more advanced things when it comes to, to WordPress, super powerful stuff. Can't wait to get into that. Uh, but we're really just going to focus on something simple today. We're going to write out uh, one, may maybe two functions if we have enough time. And then we're going to use that function somewhere else within our theme. So let's get started. We're going to flip over to our code editor, we're going to go into functions.php and create some space here. All right. So, and again, um, if you haven't watched some of the previous videos, I definitely recommend you to go check those out before you dive into this or else this might not make sense if this is your first time uh, using WordPress. So, um, functions.php, let's just write out a basic function if I can spell. Uh, we're going to say, uh, hello world, why not? And um, let's do, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's say we're going to echo um, and we're going to echo hello world. That's what we're going to do, right? That makes sense. It's the only sensical thing to do here. Sensical. Is that a word? All right. So. We've got a function. Now we want to use that function. So we're going to go over into index.php. And let's just, we're, we're going to replace the title here. We're going to replace it. We're going to call hello world. Okay. So inside of our PHP uh, brackets there, uh, we replace the title with hello world. Okay. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to refresh in case I really screwed something up, this should work. Ah, there we go, hello world. But how do we know it changed? Because I do believe that we're using hello world uh, in in the back end as well. So that that's, yeah, we, we shouldn't do that. Okay, let's maybe change that to demo. Okay, we're gonna refresh. It still says hello world as it should. We're going to undo back to the title, right? So the title, which is a WordPress function. We're gonna hit refresh. Demo, great, we're using our page title now, okay? Hopefully this isn't confusing, so I'm gonna rewind it and go back for just a second. We're gonna go back into our function. We're gonna copy our hello world function again this time. We're gonna say this is a test to make sure it is working. Great. And we're gonna come back and replace that again. Hello world, boom. So our function is being defined in functions.php. That's where WordPress wants you to define all the functions at. And if you do that, those functions become available to you everywhere, right, in any file. So let's go ahead and call uh, this function. We're gonna call it a few more times, three more times to be exact. So we can see one, two, three, great. And we're even gonna come over here into our header and we're gonna Stick one up here. Let's maybe use, what can we use? Well, we'll just use, uh, I can't write. We're gonna use an H2. Great, there's our H2 in our header. Let's go to our footer and maybe let's add a H3. Great, footer and H3. Uh, footer and H3, H3 in our footer. So, um, so yeah. This is a really um, powerful way of working within a CMS, specifically WordPress. And, uh, and what you're going to learn later on in future videos is that uh, 
all the functions that you write will be defined in there. You can abstract uh, this, this whole folder and file system within your theme. Again, you can have like an includes folder. I mentioned that in a previous video uh, where you define all your functions and you split everything up. If maybe object oriented programming is the way that you like to do things, you can do that. Um, and then when it comes to using all the WordPress hooks, which are kind of fancy na a fancy name for uh, WordPress functions that allow you to get in at certain parts, certain times, places, and spaces within uh, the WordPress firing sequence. Um, all that magic happens. It all boils down to the functions.php uh, file here. So hopefully you found value in this video. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and be sure to share these videos if you enjoy them with your friends. That would be great. And uh, yeah, come on. I, I never know how to end these things. I I'm just going to end it. But come on back. Come on back. Watch some more.